Hey y'all, it's Michelle Pippin with WomenWhoWow.com and BeMichellePippin.com. I am here to talk with you guys about this quote that I saw come across the screen um, on Facebook today. And the quote is, there's nothing more powerful than a made up mind. There's nothing more powerful than a made up mind. And I wanna just talk about this because I feel like when we enter business and even when we enter new and different stages in business, we kind of make up our mind about different things and we kind of decide uh, what's possible for us or what we should expect from our business or from our clients or from our employees or whatever it is and um, and so I want to ask you as I go through this and I want to talk about kind of a funny story and a vulnerable story but I want to um, I want to ask you sort of like what have you decided right what have you decided about your business what if you decided would be normal for you in business what if you decided would be possible for you in business and, um, and you know where ha in what ways have you made up your mind in business and I want to tell you a few different ways that I made up my own mind in business that really held me back and this last one kind led into a funny story and so I have kind of two points for you today and, and one is about making up your mind and the other one is about what you're willing to rip open in order to get what you want so um, let's talk about some some beliefs or some decisions some places we might have made up our mind in our business um, based on what I did that held me back for way too long so uh, one thing is I kind of made up my business I made up my mind largely listening to other business owners that business would be hard right that being a successful business owner would be hard um, I also um, had kind of decided somewhere along the way listening again to other um, business owners that success would take a really long time and I'm so glad I didn't make up my mind to this in the beginning because I didn't have a long time when I first started my business it was after I got into entrepreneurship started listening to other people who were in business for themselves talk about how hard it was how long it was and I started hearing things like oh you know you don't expect to turn a profit for four years and I'm thinking good Lord who's managing that money right like who can live without money for four years I just couldn't even fathom it and um, but somewhere along the way that kind of crept in like if I wanted to have this crazy wild success where I'm known internationally and I have this international association of women entrepreneurs um, that gather you know all the time digitally and also in person that it would take a long time somewhere that crept into my consciousness and I mean it helped held me back right because the truth is it doesn't have to be hard and it doesn't have to take a long time um, but maybe you also fell into um, another kind of belief system and made up your mind that you know I started this business to be small and it'll be a success but it'll be small and for me you know um, I started my business journey with an investment of $50 and somewhere along the way I started thinking you know you don't grow you know multi six-figure businesses out of an investment of $50 and and I started not expecting so much of my little business and um, all of these things I can say are absolutely aligning with that quote um, there is nothing more powerful than a made up mind unfortunately they're aligning in a negative way right where we make up our mind of, about these boundaries and limitations that will hold us back in our business and that's something that I really um, I can't say I really regret it I think it's something I had to work through not only for my own business but also to, to help all of the other women who wow members who might find themselves believing some sort of um, limiting things about their business and so but there's another one that kind of when I was journaling about this this morning like the different things that I had made up my mind about in business as that these things were normal and they were just kind of define the way I did my business and I think a lot of people can um, can relate to this one but it's you know business I had sort of made up my mind that it would be normal for a business to take two steps forward and three steps back right and I know a lot of people can relate to that right now but here's the thing so um, when I was delivering Shelby, she's my 16 year old, I will never forget it because I was in the hot tub and my husband was holding holding me up and I was pushing, right? And, um, and, and the water was definitely helpful, you know, in terms of pain relief, but um, it was, it was, it was tough because I, you know, this 
eight pound baby um, was coming down the birth canal. And I tell you, like I, I pushed and then as soon as I release, and those of you guys who have had, um, you know, a, a natural delivery, like you'll get this. But as soon as I released from the push, the baby like sucked back up, right? And I was devastated. I was appalled. And I said to my midwife, I'm like, oh my God, like she went back up, you know, something's wrong here. And my midwife, and you know, God bless her. She was just so calm. And she says, honey, that baby's like a rose and she's going to take two steps forward and three steps back. And it was like, oh, this is normal. You should expect this. And I think that's very true in childbirth. But in my mind, I said, not this time, <laughs> not this time. She's not going to take three, two steps forward and three steps back. I'm done. Like I'm done. I'm getting this baby out. And so, um, so I totally pushed and, um, and, had created a giant tear down there and uh, but the baby came out right and so uh anyway so i was kind of thinking about this when i was thinking about that two steps forward three steps back thing and um and in childbirth you know it's normal for that to happen and yet i was like no way this isn't going to happen and i was willing to push hard and tear and get that baby out in one bell swoop and um and the good thing is that i i had a great relationship with the um with the doctor and he came in and he gave me that extra little stitch <laughs> <laughs> to make sure things were all put back together and and uh and tight for for my mister but um but the the tear I, it got me thinking it's like you know what sometimes we're unwilling to go outside of normal kind of business theology and challenge the limits and stuff like that because we're afraid of tearing we're afraid of busting open and i just want to ask you like not only I want you to challenge what you've made up your mind about in business and really challenge that. Does it have to be normal for you? Do these things, these limits, these false limits you've put on your business, do they have to be normal for you? Because I can tell you, you can find people that they're not normal for. You can find people who have defied those limitations. And I'm one of them in a lot of different ways. And so, but the second question is, back to my birth story is, what are you willing to rip open, to tear open, to destroy in order to get what you really want, right? The truth is, I think that we stay stuck in business because we expect it to be tidy and neat and um, and something that is incredibly um, step by step by step by step and that's just not true. Business like life can get messy and chaotic and that's where a lot of the beauty is born. And so that's where a lot of the increases are born. When you're willing to say, mm -mm, not this time, I'm going all in and whatever rips and tears we're gonna take care of later. And so I hope that this kind of resonates with you. And if you have any questions for me, definitely put them in the comments below. If you are not a Women Who Wow member, we are an international association of seriously driven women entrepreneurs. You can find out about it, bmichellepippin.com backslash women who wow. We are not open yet for new members, but we will be a little bit later on and I want you to be on that waiting list. But if you have any questions, just PM me or put a comment below. I'll talk with you soon. Bye.